Okay, in this video, what we're going to look at are linear graphs and the possibilities that we have. Okay, I'm going to try and keep it nice and short and sweet. Okay, um, if you've got a 2D plane, okay, like this board or a sheet of paper, and you're going to draw two straight lines, they're going to fall into a few different categories. Okay. You're either going to have the situation where you just draw two, any two lines, okay, and more than likely, if you just draw two lines, then if you just continue them far enough, they will intersect, okay? So they will intersect at one point, okay? There is no way that you could have two straight lines going on forever and they meet twice, okay? On a 2D plane like this, that doesn't make any sense to us, unless you go into other, um, other forms of geometry, okay? But for us, if I continue this straight line and this straight line uh, forever and ever and ever, they won't meet again, okay? So they could intersect at one point, okay? And in doing so, create an angle. Okay, let's call the angle theta. Now, uh, in core one, that angle um, isn't going to be interesting to us, or rather, well, not interesting, but we're not going to be asked to work it out. Okay, except in the particular case where you have a line, and the other line that you draw actually intersects the other at a right angle, okay? So it's still intersecting at one point, but now the angle is actually 90 degrees. And when two lines intersect at 90 degrees, we call them perpendicular. Okay? So when they are perpendicular, uh, the gradients have this... Um, what is called, uh, they are negative reciprocals of one another. And we're going to look at that in the next video. But the two lines, if they intersect at 90 degrees, are called perpendicular. The other possibility is that they just don't meet. And in that case, if they don't meet, then they, you could draw them like train tracks, effectively, and you would call them parallel. Okay, so you've got really two situations, one that you intersect at one point, or the two lines are parallel. And if they intersect at one point and they are at 90 degrees, then they are known as perpendicular. Okay, so these are the cases that we're going to be looking at, and we're going to look at what this means for us in terms of the equation of the line.